Hey y'all, so I'm about to watch this new version of Cinderella on, what's that? Prime Video, okay. I'm, you know, I don't have high hopes for this. I mean, I just don't. But, you know, remember live action Belle and Emma well, Watson, as much we love her as Hermione, was not a great Belle. She just wasn't. But, like, her supporting class was amazing. You had Audrey McDonald, you had Sir Ian McKellen, you had Emma Thompson. You know, you had, like, really great people around her to support her. And so, basically, I'm going into this for Billy Porter, Minnie Driver, Adina Menzel. That's who I'm going to watch this for because that, that chick, that, that Fifth Harmony girl. I mean, whatever. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So, we're going to get into that in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so like I wanted to turn it off. Like as soon as they started doing jukebox, like oh, I don't know why I was expecting for them that it to be a musical with you know new music, but I was just wasn't expecting it to just be a pop jukebox thing happening. Like as soon as they started doing rhythm nation, I was just like I almost turned it off, but I didn't. I was like, you know, well, maybe it's gonna find things that I do like. I did enjoy that they gave um, stepmother some more background, kind of like an ever after. You knew there something was behind her, her pain, her anger towards you know, well, an ever after Danielle, but in this, her name's Ella, of course. But like Adina Menzel was good. I just watched it so I could see Billy Porter, and he's in it literally for less for like five minutes, five minutes, and I was just like, I kept waiting for him to come back, and he didn't. So, yeah. It, I, was, I felt like they wanted it to be, you know, the, the R&H Brandy Cinderella mixed mix with Ever After. I feel like that's what it wanted to be. And it failed. It was like, oh, we're going to have this super diverse cast and it's going to be great. But all of your main characters were still white. Like, the leads were all white. But all your backup people, your background people, your dancers, your the town crier, caller person who's doing like his best Hamilton impression, people of color, black people, all those things are happening. Great. But your lead actors are all still white. It's, yeah. It wasn't a jam. And also, you should have just called it Cinderella, a dressmaker story. Like, I'm tired of people, like, this should not have just been called Cinderella, because this is not Cinderella. It's Cinderella, a dressmaker story. You know what I mean? It's... <sighs> Wasn't a jam. Like, the stepsisters, they really had, they really had no functional purpose. They didn't do anything. Unlike, you know, other Cinderella's, like, they were clearly they were trying to get to the prince. They had, like, this weird relationship with their mom. It was just, like, this was very all surface, like, I... so I'm either going to pop in some R&H and watch my Brandy Cinderella, shoot, or I might even watch my Ever After because I need to watch this non Cinderella Cinderella a dressmaker story out of my goodness. Man. <laughs> 